All right, welcome back everyone to the School of Mysticism. My name is Tanuj. Today, we're going to be taking a look at an individual by the name of Leo Gura from actualized.org who claims to be a psychologist and spiritual teacher and, and mystic. And his style is a lot more Jungian, Carl, uh, you know, Freudian psychology, as well as a lot of self-help kind of introspection type of stuff. And um, so in this video, I'm going to be exposing this guy and basically explaining why this person is definitely not to be trusted. He's definitely what I would consider to be a false teacher. He's probably being paid money, a lot of money, um, to voice his opinions, his political opinions, and to create distractions, deceptions, and, and straight up infiltrations within the spiritual community. So if you are a part of my tribe, my community, you probably have never heard of this person, or maybe you have, and um, you know you probably stopped watching them because you you found certain things to be uh, strange. But if you have not discovered certain things, I'm here to tell you about this video and to really open your eyes and your mind to really understand, like you know, there's a lot of people out there on this YouTube community within the spirituality niche and even the occult niches and the the, mag uh, the magical and the mystical uh, niches which is more of our niche. But there's a lot of people out there that claim that they're spiritual teachers, but then again, they're very, very fucking sick in their minds. And I'm not talking about like the person that needs to just sit and do more shadow work. I'm talking about some of these people are just completely deranged. They're just, they're so deranged. They're so sick. They're so mentally ill that I was not even going to do this video because I don't really like to talk about stuff like this. But at the same time, when there's someone that has, you know, 1.4 million followers or 1.1 million, whatever it is, millions of followers, well, he's diluting a huge percentage of real source players, real players that might not fully understand what's going on in this game. But there is nefarious negative entities and liars and dece uh, deceivers everywhere, all throughout this matrix. So let's go ahead and pull this up. I'm going to go ahead and screen share. Again, so this might make it on YouTube. It might not. I don't know. This is kind of a sensitive topic. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and look at his channel real quick. Now, I want to let you know that I've been following this person or, or I did used to follow them for about 10 years or so. So I, I think I first found his channel when I was 14, which was about 10 years ago. And um, I remember finding this individual and I was thinking like, wow, he's like one of the most enlightened individuals I've ever heard speak. And I was really, really blown away. Of course, I was much younger at the time, um, but I was just really blown away with his ability to articulate certain things and his revelations of consciousness were were lining up exactly with my own experiences. And he definitely did probe me to dig deeper in certain aspects. But then throughout the years, as I progressed throughout my own spiritual journey, and my own mystical journeys, I started to not really resonate with his teachings as much. And um, I stopped watching him. And then I finally unsubscribed a few years ago. And I just stopped watching him. I would check on his channel occasionally to see what he was up to. And I would see there was all kinds of drama going on with his community. And people were committing suicide. People were, were dying. People were going into mental institutions. I mean, you can go ahead and check on his blog and uh, his forum. Okay, he has an entire website and forum. And you can check out his forum. And, you know, he has a lot of posts and stuff. But I would occasionally go ahead and look through the forum to see if there's any interesting information or anything of value. And it's a lot of uh, bickering. It's a lot of bitching. It's a lot of fighting. It's a lot of this individual claiming that he's more conscious than everyone else and that these people don't know what they're talking about. And you just need to smoke 5-MeO DMT. Just fucking smoke 5-MeO, you know, just just keep hitting the toad um, or whatever and doing that 30 days in a row. So there's been a lot of crazy things going on. And, you know, I'm like, okay, this is the way I was seeing it. I, I definitely saw there was a problem, which is why I stopped following him. And uh, I know we talked about his health issues as well, where he had some chronic health issues uh, with his thyroid, I believe, and, and you know, not being able to um, heal himself or and then go into certain new age doctors or new age uh, healers and they couldn't help him. And he's trying all these things and he has like, tiredness syndromes and whatnot well 
what I want to say about that is that uh, trauma and serious suffering in the body is usually caused by an energetic misalignment. Okay. This is not new age thinking, but this is actually the truth. This is actually the esoteric wisdom of the mystics. So your energy field is responsible for your health. And if your energy field is altered in any way, if it is traumatized, damaged, split off, fractured, cracked, it's going to cause damages to your psyche. It's going to cause damages to the way you show up in the world. In, in the fact that you, in, especially in the fact that if you're a leader, okay, with millions of followers online, and you're saying certain things, which I haven't even gotten to the point what he's talking about. Well, let's just go ahead and, and say it. This is what he's talking about. I mean, this is just absolutely ridiculous and insane. Okay. This is the most insane statement I've seen him put out. And I think that to say that child loving is like pedophilia is love is complete bullshit and, and completely insane. I think that this person is under serious psychological distress and disharmony and has suffered immensely in his life and uh, doesn't really know how to deal with that. Therefore, they found this YouTube audience that they've cultivated and they've become the ruler of their puppet show. And it's funny because he has videos talking about cults, talking about puppet shows, talking about uh spiritually misaligned teachers well all this person seems to be doing in the recent day and age and if you just look and see is he's obsessed with with the attraction so that's like uh dating okay male women dating and just picking up girls and having sex with them and doing that very shallow lifestyle well let me tell you, if you are someone that has gone through the matrix and the reality, you're not going to do this shit because you've seen the dimensions and the pollutions and the hive mind and um, how dark people's energies can be and how their energies can actually cause you to get sick and get very, very injured and uh, low vibrational and entity attachments as well. And then have your life force be drained out of you just by having sex with the wrong individual. It's very possible. Okay. But so basically, you know, he, he lives in, in Las Vegas and he's a party animal. All he's doing is partying. So I don't really see how this is spiritual at all. I don't see how going out and, um, you know, right here, you know, telling his friends and women to, to have sex with them, like right as soon as they're meeting and to just be a pickup artist. That's not a higher consciousness being. That is someone that is masquerading as a higher consciousness being see as a higher consciousness being you're going to only value sex when it is in a sacred connection or in a very very intimate connection you're not going to value sex in this casual kind of way if you're still in this casual kind of way it's because you haven't really understood your value of your energy and your spirit you you are still very materialistically dominated you're still believing that you know that, that who and what you interact with on a physical level doesn't matter when it actually has a very profound energetic shift and um, effect on your spirit and on your energy and on your mind and on who you are, okay? Another thing that he promotes, which is a complete nonsense. So let me tell you, this is a controlled agent. Like this is actually somebody that I believe is getting paid money by the government, by the deep state, by the CIA, by the Luciferians, any, whatever you want to call it. Um, his energy has changed completely. So right around the time when I unsubscribed is probably when he started getting paid. Or maybe he's been getting paid the whole time. Um, I have a hard time believing that he, he was getting paid in the beginning. Um, and I'm not talking about, you know, a fair compensation, which is someone working and then getting paid by their clients or their customers or whatever. No, no, no. This is a actual controlled agenda, which means that their narrative is being fed by uh, like CNN. <laughs> okay. That means that they have advertising money. They have a, a budget and this is their spokesperson. And they're not telling you that he's connected to this agency and he's not going to tell you. 
But if you just look at his activities and what he does and how he promotes himself and what he talks about, you can see that this is definitely a satanic level infiltration. Okay. The first thing that he was promoting initially, which everyone in this conscious community is aware of for the most part was the, the jabs. Okay. The, the death sticks that people were basically having to take to fight the disease. Okay. So he was a heavy staunch, um, follower of that. And if I can see, let me see if I can actually find something. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to search his blog, but so you can go ahead and search it out, but I'm going to tell you what, what's really going on here. Now, the first thing, why is this demiurge? Why is this a demiurgic energy? Well, let's look at his quotes. We're going to first look at this quote, actualized quote 006. Imagine God, God reaching out with both hands, but these hands are actually an infinite ray of skeleton claws. These claws are deeply intelligent. They beckon you to reach your hand and take hold. Please take my grotesque claw and let me pull you into an endless orgy of slithering biological horrors. It's okay. You will be okay. These claws love you so much that they are like eager school children or kittens that cannot restrain you and help themselves from grabbing you. They just want to grab you up and pull you into a mindscape of endless monstrosities. Please come, come, look, look, you got to experience this. Come swim through a playpen of severed, of severed human heads. Come join us. Come experience love. And yet these claws seem understandable. Or yet these claws completely understand that you are too afraid to reach out to them. It's okay if you're afraid. They love you anyway. That's what infinite consciousness feels like. It's the love for every horror that can be imagined. God imagines every horror, and of course, God does so purely out of love. So this is just complete horseshit. I'm sorry, but no. Horror is not love. Severed heads and suffering is not love. That is satanic. That's demonic. That's devil energies. That's not infinite consciousness. Okay, it can be contained within infinite consciousness, but infinite consciousness represents the spark of divinity. It does not represent death, destruction, killing. It definitely doesn't represent the grotesque claws and snatching you up into some random dimension of human suffering and then claiming that's love. What that is, is that's the all of that's, that's the false God. That's the AI, the Demiurge. Um, that's the Saturnian God. That's who you're dealing with here. That's the energy of what he's portraying. That's the energy of the spirituality that he's tapping to. He's believing in a father God. And I, I know that he's not religious, but the way he's describing it is 100% according to the Gnostic teachings, the ancient scriptures, the ancient understandings, and what us modern mystical beings and shamanistic beings are now understanding, which is that, yes, there is this archontic spirit known as the Demiurge, which is terrorizing souls and spirits, trapping them in a matrix reality, okay? They use love, which is a fake form of love. Real love does not have to do with harming people. And this is something that I don't think he gets. He, do he doesn't get that when you love someone or something, you don't harm it. In fact, I believe uh, the Buddha had a quote where he said this very thing. He said, you know, if you love the flower so much, why do you pick it out of its root? So if God loved you, if God loved you so much, why would he come and pluck you out of your home and, and make you suffer? Because it's not God. Because it's a selfish, tyrannical, evil God. Next. Again, I woke so deeply that I understand why every hair on my balls is exactly the way it is and not any other way. This is this is a narcissistic comment. This is like he's fucking with his audience. He's joking with you. He doesn't give a shit about you. This is a very stupid comment. He's making you want to think about his genitalia. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Okay? Now, he mocks conspiracy theorists an immense amount. Okay, and he actually has had a huge, huge, huge. By the way, I'm saving the best one for last. He's had a huge, huge thing with uh, MAGA, Trump, um, 
you know, all, all of this right wing conservatism, conservatism and, and information about the conservative community or actually, you know, standing up for Republican rights or what, what you would call American freedoms. He doesn't believe in any of that. He says that they're all liars and that Trump is a liar. Um, the right wing is insane. All of this stuff basically claiming that, you know, the, the right is to blame for all of the problems of humanity and America. Anyone who has a modicum of common sense knows it is the left. And I'm not here to pick sides because I don't care about politics. First of all, politics is a distraction. It's a lie. Second of all, it's very clearly obvious that it is the left, okay, the liberalists, and the, the basically the Marxists at this point, um, the Democratic Party, which is inciting all of the horrible changes to our environment, in, in into our economy, into our food systems, into our education, into the rules and the, the, the policing, the masking, all of that stuff. That was all done by the Democratic Party. So to say that the right is insane and that Trump is insane and that this is uh, this is completely nonsense. So he's very anti-conspiratorial. In fact, if you bring up conspiracy theories on his forum, you get blocked. You get deleted. Next. Let's save the best one for last because this is just absolutely insane. So you can go ahead and do your own research on this individual and see if he, he's worth your time or not. I can tell you he's not. That I have stopped watching him because... I don't feel any value when I watch his videos. I get a lot of ego. I don't get a lot of information. I get ego. And his ego, it's not just normal ego. It's very polluted. It's very, very sick and de uh, it's demonic. Okay? Because the, the way you describe God sounds like a demon to me. It sounds like a, a fourth dimensional terror demon. Now let's get to the meat and potatoes. Let's get to the real, real dark stuff here because this is a very messed up. So the first thing he posts on September 15th, 2022, pedophilia is love. Now that statement is insane. Okay. What is pedophilia? For those of you that don't know what pedophilia is, it's the love of children or it is sexual desire for children. This is very, very sick. This is coming from an adult human male who is in his late 30s or 40s. Okay. Who's a, who's a fully grown human being who is talking about pedophilia on his audience to young teenagers who are like in their 15, uh, 15, 16, 17 range, all the way up to their late twenties, thirties, and some even older individuals talking about pedophilia as if pedophilia is something that is supposed to be accepted and justified in our society. We already know there's a huge uh, pedophilic problem in this world. We already know that there's a satanic sacrificial cult running around doing dark shit very dark stuff okay i can't necessarily talk about that here on youtube as much but i will talk about it i have talked about it privately and there's books on it you can do your own research so this is already known that this cult exists and that they love they claim to love children no what they what they love is power control blood sacrifice black magic terror, fear, louche, adrenochrome, and demonic energies. And they love to worship their false god because it gives them power. It gives them manipulation over the human mind. And it keeps their false simulation reality running so they can keep stealing your energy. So he says when he was 14 years old, he was groomed and molested by a criminal pedophile. Okay, that's a huge fucking drop on your audience you've never you haven't said this you haven't mentioned you you've made almost 500 videos now let's see hold on you've made over, over 500 videos okay there are so many videos on your channel let's see you have 518 videos with 1.1 million subscribers you're now just announcing that you have been molested and groomed by a criminal pedophile at 14 years old. Don't you think that you should have told your followers this a long time ago? 
I mean, I understand it's your privacy and whatever you want to do, but don't you think that it would have been more intelligent for you to have announced this a long time ago? And the next sentence he says is contrary to popular myth. The net effect on me was positive. What? What do you mean it was positive? You were, you were groomed and molested by a criminal. How could that be positive? That sounds like you have, you're still under mind control. He was not the run-of-the-mill pedophile. He taught me radical open-mindedness. That's insane. He's talked about radical open-mindedness many times before. Radical open-mindedness means, oh, you should be able to embrace everything. This is how... When you have open-mindedness, it's good to be open-minded. But when you are so fucking open-minded that your head falls out of your head or your brain falls out of your head, that's when you have a problem. Because child pedophilia is not love. It's not positive. It's actually insane. Now, he says his love for me was insane. No, you are insane, Leo. You are very, very sick. But he's one of the reasons I found God, thanks to radical open-mindedness, I learned. I mean, he's having a piss here. He's, he's literally pissing on you. He's, he's fucking with you. You don't find God by being molested. What you do is you have such a deep Stockholm Syndrome bond with your captor. And you have such a traumatic bond that you're trying to justify it in any way. So he says that pedophilia is not incredibly traumatizing to children in most cases. Therefore, it must be stopped. So he's saying this does not mean that pedophilia is not incredibly traumatizing to children in most cases and therefore must, must be stopped. But stop being stupid. Of course, pedophilia is love, the love of children. Remember, love can be very twi twisted and selfish. If you do not get love properly, it will twist you up. Understanding pedophilia requires the highest awareness of your bias. If you prey on my children, I will hunt you down and kill you. That's how people think. I would say that's a, a rational way of thinking. Yes, if you prey on our children, we will hunt you down and kill you. That is rational thinking. You don't touch our fucking children, okay? Don't fuck with people's children. They will rip you apart like the dogs did to Ramsey from Game of Thrones, and for good reason. But it can really screw shit kids up. Unfortunately, nobody in our society talks about pedophilia, honestly, simply because they are too biased. What are you talking about? In fact, those who cry about pedophilia the loudest are usually overcompensating for something. Be wary of anyone who casually accuses others for being pedophiles. All they do is demonstrate their own stupidity. Spoken and said like a true pedophile. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he was, he was uh, connected to these individuals. Like, for real. Because everything he's saying is he's justifying preying on children, which is very sick and disgusting. Okay? On the astral realm, you're a demon. You're the lowest of low, and you're actually marked for termination if you do stuff like that like the spirits of nature and 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 the true god force see you as an abomination for doing things like that you are the lowest of the low you are the scum of the earth you might wonder but leo doesn't this mean that you have some repressed trauma due to this to the answer is simply no i fully integrated it okay <laughs> I can't believe he just said that. Like, so, you might also wonder. So, has this given you some weird sexual fetishes? To the answer is no. My sex, so my sexual tastes are as vanilla as it gets. No, they are not, because I've watched your videos, dude, and you jerk off to porn while you're on psychedelics. That's not normal at all. You jerk off to porn and have a porn collection of uh, of of various amounts of women that you that you're masturbating to. This is disgusting. OK. To be someone that jerks off is already a mental disease. It's already a mental disease to to masturbate and to look at porn. That's a mental disease. That's that's literally hijacking of the sexual energy on such a deep level. Now, to do it on a psychedelic. That's supposed to in, in, enlighten you and make you see God and make you experience the deepest healings. You're jerking off to porn. Do you not understand how disrespectful you are to this sacred medicine? That's why the spirits torment you so much. That's why you receive such a, a tormenting vibration because you are insane, dude. The, the, what, the way you act and what you say are, is absolutely retarded. It's not a good thing. And actually, you know what? I am calling you out on your bullshit. I'm calling you out on your channel. I'm calling you out on your teachings. 
your teachings and your channel is complete bullshit. I'm sure you have given good advice, but for the fact that you are literally, you know, supporting pedophilia, you're supporting these corrupt rulers and you advocate for all of these false medications, these false things that are now causing people to die, straight up killing people, giving them myocarditis. This is a Satanist. Okay? Pedophilia is a legit problem. It would be nice to see if our society took a mature approach to dealing with it. The way it's handled now is childish and toxic. The modern equivalent of the witch trials. If you think this is shocking or con controversial, all I can say is grow up. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. I can't believe you actually posted this on online. The fact that you posted this, this, this is forcing my hand to make a video about you and to expose you for being a sick, twisted motherfucker. Okay? Because you are, you are thinking that the way that we handle this is childish and toxic. No, what we need is more regulation on this. Okay? You need to stop regulating everything else. If the government wants to actually do its fucking job, which they will never do because they are a part of this. But if they were to ever do their real job, it would be to stop regulating everything else, stop increasing our inflation so much, and start focusing on cleaning up pedophilia, which is a huge problem, and, and human trafficking. Okay, that is the problem in our society. It is not something that we need to grow up. The reason you think that is because you are one of them. You are a sick individual. You're, you still haven't healed from your trauma. So honestly, I don't think anyone should be watching this person. I don't think this person should be teaching people spirituality. I think this person needs to go to a mental hospital and sit there or are seriously... You know, no more psychedelics for this individual either, because that's absolutely insane. He's already taken too much. And uh, there's people like that that just completely, they, they overdose themselves on psychedelics. Now, to be honest, to be honest that, um, you know, I did watch this person at one point and I did think that he was really intelligent. However, I no longer think that. I think that he has been sold out bought out um energetically hijacked for sure infiltrated on on a on a very dark deep level because to talk about pedophilia to support pedophilia to say that it's love to now drop this truth bomb that they are actually that you know he was actually molested and then to claim that's open right uh mindedness and that his actual his his captor actually loved him I mean, this is crazy, man. I can't believe I have to make a video about this. <laughs> but if I don't do it, who's going to do it? We're just going to have the rest of the spiritual community just lulling on forward like, oh, yeah, great video, bro. So enlightening. I reached the newest stage of consciousness. Bull fucking shit. This guy is insane. Don't follow him. The way he does psychedelics is crazy. The way he uh, teaches his followers is even more crazy. The, what he supports politically and on, on a logical level is insane. If you're supporting any of these things, you're not spiritual. You're sick in the mind. You have the Archon virus. That's all I can say. Okay. Again, God is a colorful flower blooming out of a pile of shit. This is really your own psyche. This is what, what, this is what you have inside of you. You have a colorful flower blooming out of a pile of shit. That's what you are. You, you've written it yourself. Okay, this colorful flower is all of the distraction, the beauty, the the pretend, and then underneath is just a rotting pile of shit, which was your trauma. So can I give you some real advice instead of just uh, critiquing you? Of course, I will give you my honest advice. I think you need to spend six months to a year without being on the internet, without being in front of your cult following, who is so brainwashed that they can't even see right from wrong anymore. That's what you've done to them. You've brainwashed them. Okay? And if you're a follower of Leo and you're watching my channel, you're watching this video, understand that I used to be where you were at. I thought this individual was intelligent. And now I think he's insane. Okay? Voice, uh, false teachings and poison is right-wing ideology. Right. Okay. So you, you want to support the child pedoph uh, pedophiles, right? You want to support the 
the, the insane deep state that is screwing over not just our country, but all of the countries that, that, that have created the Federal Reserve and have screwed over all of these countries that have made the citizens completely broke, right? That's who you want to support, okay? So this is what's wrong with the world today is that we have people like this who claim to be spiritual leaders when these people are, are they are so far off from spirituality. I mean, I must be in a fucking parallel universe of the earth. Again, this is a very uh, raw video. I'm just telling it as it is. Um, so if you didn't like my cursing or whatever, sorry. But all right. Again, another post. The king of stupid. The American right wing fucking MAGA are criminally morbidly stupid. And Trump, well, Trump is the king of stupidity. If you cannot understand this, God himself cannot help you. Yeah, God is in the demiurge. Nothing I can ever say will help you to so stop listening. So he's telling an entire portion of his audience, anyone who supports Trump, to stop watching him. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. If you have a million followers, understand some are going to be light, uh, right base and some are going to be left and some are going to not care at all. But that's not the way it works. God is death and death is love. That's Saturn. God cannot die. That's Saturn. God is death. That's literally Saturn, the Grim Reaper. So if that's all you have to teach, it's because you've been hijacked, buddy. Okay? So... Again, anyone that's posting CNN as some sort of reputable source on online, I, I really, really question their integrity, their intelligence, and their sanity because CNN is, I mean, they've lost 90% of their viewers. Who is even watching CNN these days? <laughs> I'm not even going to click on that. Again, then he has more, more pictures of just women taking off their tops and, and showing off their, their sexual nature. I don't find this entertaining. I don't find this uh, interesting at all. I think this is stupid. And for someone that's supposed to be following a blog for a spiritual teacher or someone who's like spiritually attuned to the highest vibrations, more enlightened than the rest, is what he claims. Um, that's not enlightened. I get if you have sexual tastes and you want to explore that, but why are you posting about that on your blog, dude? That's the question I have. It's like, we understand you're a male, so you have physical desires. I get that, Okay. No one's shunning you for that. I think that pedophilia is completely wrong. I think that you haven't healed from that. And number three, stop posting about this on your blog for other people to see. We don't want to see how many girls that you're, you're, you're scooping. Nobody cares. That sounds very immature. It sounds like if you're 40 and you're still doing that, what's wrong with you? That's something you should be doing when you're 23 or to, in your 20s. All right, that's, some, that's something that someone my age would be doing. But guess what? I'm actually here online reviewing you when I'm half your age. And I know better. <laughs> I know better than to act like you. Even though my following is not nearly as large as yours. But that doesn't matter. Because I want to show the people what you've written yourself. Which is that you are a sick individual. Unfortunately. So I recommend you go through some serious healing before you continue teaching. And um, honestly, I don't think you can be healed if you're still talking about pedophilia is love. I think that you are probably just a controlled opposition disinfo agent. And um, there's my exposing. So that's pretty much everything I had to say about this individual. Leo Gura from actualize.org. Again, I don't recommend his channel. I don't recommend his information. Um, I think that people need to be more discerning on who they follow. And if someone has been abused, we understand that that's not your fault. You're a victim. However, to not tell your followers after having so many millions of people following you and, 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 and to be so well known in this consciousness community, but not to not say anything. Okay, number one. But then number two, to lie. And then number three, to push this agenda on other people. That is so, so sociopathic. You don't even know. You are a very sick individual. That's all I have to say. So we wish you healing. I wish you the best. I hope that you find your peace. Um, I really think you should stay off the internet because you're a sick, twisted mind. And this world is going to be 
harmed by what you do, which is to promote false agendas and false narratives. You've promoted three false agendas and narratives that I know for sure. Number one, the whole thing with the V, the V word. That's insane. That's already crossing the line because people have already died and gotten sick and gotten very uh, ill from that. Number two, the whole death count. That was also a lie. You, pr you promoted and pushed false uh, statistics, okay? Also fake, also a lie. Number three, you're pushing pedophilia. That There's nothing worse than that. You might as well just come out and say you're a Satanist because we already can see it from, from your actions. That's fucked up. And that's social manipulation. That's a, an agenda that you are trying to create. So those are three of those um, very obvious agendas. And then number four, you're pushing against MAGA. You're pushing against America. You're really supporting the globalists and the elite in their takeover of this world. And you're not supporting the people. You're not supporting the citizens. I don't even think you care about your followers or anyone that's really learning from you. I think that you're more feeding off the narcissistic energy that you're receiving from all of these people. Um, yeah. So that's all I have to say. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button for me. Leave a comment below. Give me your thoughts on what you think about Leo Gura from actualize.org. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, if you're a follower of Leo and you're going to leave a comment and it's something stupid, just go ahead and remove it. I will delete it for you. Um, be conscientious of the comments section. Be respectful. Okay. And um, this is a crazy world we live in, folks. So you can join us at the School of Mysticism in our private community and uh, in our group training program, which starts on Saturday, um, where we teach mystical secrets and mystical knowledge. Okay. And we don't have any sort of political agendas for sure. So much love. Be very careful around people that have political agendas and that have uh, that, that are pushing the mainstream agenda. If they're pushing the mainstream agenda and they have a large uh, quantity of followers, okay, and they're fo focusing you to, you know, think about something that's more mainstream, they are getting paid for it. So when he claims, when, when he claims, it's, it's, it's such a joke. When he claims on his videos, oh, look at me. I don't post. I don't have any courses. I don't have any coaching. I don't have any, you know, I only take my Patreon donations and I only take the views. Bullshit, bro. We know that you have a million dollar business plus. So we know that you're getting paid by someone. Now, whether that money is coming in from your followers or your, your course sales, which is a much more organic and authentic way of building a business. Because I, I have more about his... Uh, theories and testimonials and ideas on reality, but I can't decode it all in this video. Okay. So if you want to see a part two about Leo Guru, smash the like button. Let's see if we can get over a hundred likes. I'll probably make a second one. And if this video somehow goes viral, well then uh, there'll definitely be a part two. I have a lot to say. I've really kept my, my mouth shut on this individual and a lot of other individuals that I could very easily expose um, just by seeing what they do. And uh, that will be done if uh, this video gets a, um, a good feedback of a lot of views and ratings, whatever. So I hope the truth was helpful for you. Be discerning out here in this crazy, crazy world that we live in. Remember that we are in a multidimensional reality. There are demons and degens and fallen angels walking around. There are pedophiles and child molesters and really dark energy energies and entities around here. So you got to be careful and you got to be uh, able to spot the false ones from the real ones. Okay. Much love. Again, go check out the School of Mysticism for more content, courses, exclusive membership uh, programs. Our eight week training program begins on Saturday. And I'm very excited for that. There's only a few more days to sign up for that. And uh, you can go ahead and read my book as well and check out the rest of my services, consultations, rituals, and healing um, energy sessions. Much love. Thank you so much for, uh, th thank you so much for watching. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace.